Gentlemen, before we move on to the Q&A, please join me in another round of applause for the Honourable Dr. Sri Anwar bin Ibrahim. Actually, yes. So, Prime Minister, I was about to ask, you know, recently, you know, there's been a huge uh, outcry in the media, at least, with regard to an accusation that the former Prime Minister had left against you, uh, namely that in promoting multiracialism in Malaysia, uh, you're going against the constitution. And from what you have just said, uh, that actually a long time ago, you have already thought about what Malaysia is going to lo looks like and the importance of this. My question to you, Prime Minister, is do you think that there is an impact uh, to, Malaysian, to Malaysia and Malaysians with regard to what the former Prime Minister say? Well, the Prime Minister even lost his, uh, the ex-Prime Minister even lost his deposit in Langkawi. Uh, I, I don't think we should take it very seriously. Right? Mm. Yeah. Uh, of course, he's being used to his purpose. His last desperate attempt to be seen to be relevant, I'm going to make him irrelevant. I'm not going to comment on it. And I think we'll have to stay close to save this nation. Yeah. I am a Malay. I respect, I mean, um, the, the Malay culture and Malay tradition. Uh, you know, Malay rulers, Malay language. But that should not make me a racist by denying the rights of others. I mean, how do you make sure that this country um, survive as a nation um, whilst protecting the rights of the Malays, you want to uh, insist that this is a purely a Malay country and deny the rights of others. I mean, saying this, you'll be exploited. T tonight, past Ambassador speaker will say, look, Anwar, the Bar Council Conference said this is not a Malay country. <laughs> but it does not matter. I think we will continue. I mean, I will um, use all the powers and resources that we have to deal with this situation and um, to respond. If we fail in this narrative, we fail in this discourse, we fail as a nation. But I think most of us, we all have to take that position. Yes, the constitution is very clear on the position of the Malays. But the constitution is also clear to protect the welfare of all citizens in this country. And the future is for all Malaysians. And we, uh, I can't understand why in 2023, we are stuck in this. We are not talking about governance, we are not talking about uh, economic advancement or digital technology. We are stuck to, about uh, whose country to, uh, belongs, I mean, this country belongs, to the Malays, to the Chinese, to the Christians. And worse, this corrupt coterie of leaders were those who have abused and enriched themselves, not the Malays. They are all billionaires. Their children are billionaires. And they talk about Malay survival. I have challenged them. If it's true, you want to help the Malays, then surrender half your wealth to the Malays. <laughs>